Hi everyone, Sandra from Scraps to Beauty, and I am joining in with the hashtag Paw August Art. And so for my art, I am going to show you how to make these cute little tear bears. I've made other animals besides just little bears, so you can see, and this is made with um, extra uh, thick mulberry paper. So this is just one of my cute little bears. So I do want to show you some other things that you can make with the mulberry paper. I've done some layouts with some other animals, so I thought I would share that with you guys first. So, let me stick that right there so you can see that. Um, so these are my puppies. This is Zoe and Holly. And as you can see, I have done a tear puppy out of the mulberry paper. So that is Zoe. Then I've also done Holly. So Holly is the white one. And so then here she is here. I know it's hard to see the white. It's kind of washed out the white there. And then I've also done my cute little bears. This is done with the Heartfelt Creation Sunflowers with some mica flakes in the middle. So you can see that. This is a cute 12 by 12 layout. It's a two page layout. This is the other part here. And you can see you could do these bears. This is a light mocha color. And I just love the way their faces, it, um, each one is different. No matter how many times you do it, each has its own cute little expression. And then this is my little frog layout. I love these little frogs. So you can see the paper is frogs. There's another little bear with some eyelashes. And there's some frogs there. Another cute little bear. And this is also another 12 by 12 layout. And there's a little frog with the tongue sticking out. And I put some eyelashes on her. A little dragonfly. And then another little bear and two cute little frogs right here. So I put stickles on her. I popped her up. You can see she's very dimensional. Um, so very cute. I love frogs, too. And then I did a summertime layout. So you can see the bears. This is a panda bear. I've done two panda bears. I've done the ant. And I love my little potato chip made with the crinkle. Um, <laughs> so it looks like the potato chips are crinkled. This one is a cute little ants. And I've handmade the ants and did the wires. So they're carrying away the pickle. As you can see, I also did the um, hamburger as well. And then the other part of the layout is this one with the little juice box. And then again, my little ants are carrying away the olive and the banana. <laughs> and I also have a Ustream where I've actually showed how to do these, but I'm going to show you how to do these really quick. So there's my little moose and a black bear. So some more good times. So they're really cute. You can use them for layouts. I make them for cards. Um, they're just so cute and fuzzy. They just want to make you smile. <laughs> Another cute little frog. And then this one, I actually have a picture on this one. This is my daughter here when she was little. And I actually did a lion. This is a graphic 45, and I love that lion. So I did a lion. It's hard to tell because he kind of blends in with the um, paper, but he's very dimensional. Too. You can see him there. He's a cute little lion. And he's a cute little face there. So that's the lion. And then I did a zoo layout. So see, there's very many, a lot of different animals you can make. That's my giraffe and an elephant and another type lion. <laughs> With just like the brown paper. And then my favorite is, um, one of my favorites, um, is a tiger. I love my little tiger that I made. And it has a lot more layering and a lot more chalking. It takes a lot more time to do those. And then I, my one of my other favorites is my skunk. I love my skunk. Isn't that cute? Adorable. <laughs> so it's got cute little pink cheeks. And this is another 12 by 12 layout. You can see they go side. It's hard to show you in the in the camera, but so and then, oops, here is the other skunk here. They're really stinking adorable. <laughs> so I'm actually going to show you how to make a bear. So let me zoom in a little bit. I'll bring you a little bit closer so you can actually see. Let me stick this there. And so what you need is extra thick mulberry paper. And you can see it's crinkly on one side, smooth on the other. 
and I actually just cut a little piece so I don't have to use this big piece to show you guys. So you always want to do your pattern on the back. And it's very simple. The tools you need is a toothbrush, a water pen, a black and white pen to make the eyes. You'll need an embosser or stylus, a little um, brush, because I usually put a little pink on the cheeks. So I'll either take some chalk, and if you don't have any chalk, you can use rouge, you know, actual blush that you have. I use my hole punch for the eyes. This is a Fiskars oval punch. And then I also use the paw print punch. So, for the nose. And then, so I've already cut out my um, paw print, and I'm just going to cut out some eyes really quick. I have them over here on the side. And so what you're going to do is it's really just a, um, a little circles that uh, for the head and as well as for the eyes. So I just take any any kind of jar. I do it freehand, but I'm just trying to show you that you could pick up anything to do these. And then you're just going to trace around with this, and you're going to go right around. So as long as you do a circle, and I usually do two because I like to double them up to make them look extra furry. And then I take just a, um, whatever you have, this is a top of a, a little glue stick. So I do the ears and I do them the same way. I just make little circles. So there you go. So you can see, so there's one there and one there. And then the last thing you'll need is a little oval. I just make a little oval for the muzzle. They call this the muzzle where the little nose is going to go. So there we go. I know it's hard for you to see that, but there you can see. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to take your water pen and you're just going to go over just like you traced. I'm going to squeeze out some water here so you can see here. So you're just going over these patterns. You don't want to use scissors, that otherwise you won't get the fluffiness, so you never tear this with scissors. And the best thing to use is a glue stick, because if you try to use liquid glue, it will seep through, and um, it'll show through the other side, so never use liquid glue. So it's just a glue stick. So it's pretty simple. So just go around like that. And then you're just going to tear this. It should tear very easy. If you find that it's not tearing easily, then you'll need to add more water. And so you're just going to pull it apart like that. So there's one head. And I save all these little pieces. I don't throw anything away. I reuse them. So there's another head. A little bit more square on the bottom. Let's cut that off. And then I'm going to pull the ears apart. So we have one, and then a little muzzle, and then the last things you'll need, so you have two heads, you have the two ears, you have the little muzzle, and then we just need two hands. And again, I'm just going to draw two little circles. So I'm just going to come like this. So you can see here, I've just got two little circles on there. And then I'm just going to take my water pen and I butt it right up to the edges because I don't like to waste any of my paper. I try to use every bit of it. So like that. And again, you're just going to tear that away. Tear is super easy. And like I said, if you find it hard to tear, then you just need to add some more water. So there we go. We have our two paws. So they will go like that. And we have our two ears. And then you can take a toothbrush or a wire brush and then fluff these out a little bit more. If you want some more fluff to them. I'm going to glue these two together with my glue stick. So all I'm going to do is take glue, put it on there. It's a little bit too much glue, but... <laughs> So then you're just going to add it on like that. And then again, I'm just going to take my toothbrush, 
and just fluff the edges out so he looks nice and blurry, fluffy. Then what you're going to do is just take where this straight edge is, you're just going to take some glue and put that on one side of the head. So like that. And then again, same with this one. Put glue on the bottom here. Attach it to the other side. I used to like to leave just a little gap at the very top. And then for the muzzle, I, this is where I use all my little pieces. Because instead of using a pop dot, I just go ahead and add these little pieces so that you don't waste anything. So I'll add this other little piece here. Because if you put it on just too flat, it wouldn't give any dimension to the face. So you want to make sure that um, it has a little dimension. So and then I just find the side that I really like. And you put that right at the bottom of the chin. So you see how it just pops up just a little bit, so it just gives it a little dimension. And you could take chalk and just go around and edge each one if you really want to. But for time's sake, I'm just going to um, do it like this. And then I usually like to take and put like a little neck on him. So I'm just going to use this little piece that I have right here. I'll we'll put a little, almost like a little body. And I'll have to add just a little bit more there. So I'm just going to add another piece to the bottom here. There you go. So there you can see he has a nice, cute little neck. I might first bring it down just a little bit. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my tweezers, because it's hard for you guys to see this. So I'm going to take these, and I'm put them just below, behind the muzzle a little bit. And so I want to put my one eye here, so just like that. And you can see now it's starting to come together. And another one behind here. And you want to, I always put the eyes facing towards each other and I'm kind of far apart. I like to, to look like a little baby. If you put them the other way, he looks kind of mean, which is okay for Halloween. If you want to make like Dracula or Frankenstein. But, and you can either use this nose, I turn it sideways, but I'm going to use the paw print here. And so give him just a little bit bigger nose. So I'm going to stick this just like that. So now you can see it's coming together. And then I'm going to take my, uh, this is a 01 precision pen, and I'm going to put little eyebrows, and I make a little mouth here. And then I, let's see if I can bring that up close so you can see. So there's a little eyebrows, a little mouth. Um, I take my white pen and I just put two little dots and I try to get them, you know, basically right in the center where they both are. So now you can see it's really coming out cute and I give them a little light nose, just a little bit on the nose. So there it is. And he looks cute just the way he is there. I don't know if this, I call it a he, my might be a she. And then I like to also give just a little more dimension to the eyes. So I'll, I'll outline the sides of the eyes. And I'll bring that over here so you can see. And I put two little smiley lines. You can see I have two little smiley lines right there. I know it's hard to see. Um, I'll have to put it on autofocus. And I put three little dots where, like, the whiskers would come out. And then I'm going to take my, I don't need this anymore, I'm going to take my chalk and I'm going to put some pink on his cheeks. So I'm going to take some of this pink, you can see here, some of this pink right there, and I'm just going to pounce it just like that. And that's all you need. You could put it in the ears too, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. So then again, I'm going to take my brush, fluff it all out. So it's cute there. And then I, I usually put a little bow. So let's put some glue on here and then put a little bow on the back here. And then if I was putting this on a card, which I'll show you a card, I would just take the two paws and then just set it like that. So let me bring you a little bit closer and focused 
so that you can see how cute they look. And then I'll show you um, a card. Let me just put it on autofocus for you guys. Maybe that will help it. There we go. So let me set them on here. So, so now you can be able to see the eyes just a little bit better. Oops. So there you go. Let's see if I can bring it. There it is. Oops. Oh, I had it just one second. <laughs> Come on. Oh, focus. Oh, I can't seem to get it to focus. There it is. Perfect. You want to stop there for that one second. <laughs> and so then what I do is I can make um, a little mermaid bear. So here you can see there's a little mermaid bear. I've also put them on cards. So here's one where I actually put it on a card. So you can see that there and then I've also done it this is a little mini journal that I made and I sewed it and put a piece of plastic and I put my little bear inside there so a lot of different things they're pretty easy to make they're really cute um, and uh, like I said I have a Ustream on my Ustream scraps to beauty by Xandra you can see more um, samples that I did on Sunday night, uh, no sorry, on Wednesday on the 18th on that show. So this is my art for um, hashtag Paul August Art. I hope you liked it and if you have any questions you can email me at scrapsofbeauty at AOL.com. Thanks again and happy creating. Bye.